Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more of the Flashpoint DLC for Battletech. And it's time to take a new contract. So taking a look at things, I think I would rather do the two and a half skull mission, that's the battle one first. It's in more ideal conditions for us. And I'm hoping that we'll get the salvage I'm looking for, which is of medium max, at this difficulty level rather than a one and a half skull mission, which is probably not likely going to have as many medium max or any. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So if we can get another pick. Nah, alright. So I'm going to take more money then, rather than salvage. In my opinion, it's more worth it to go up the other step if you get an actual pick. If I'm not getting one though, I'm only getting a few more of ones I don't pick. I don't really value it as much because those three... Could just be all like heat sinks or something not so great i mean there's a chance i'd get lucky but i'd rather have the choice than not so it looks like we're going to pick it that way okay so the main thing we're going to need to do is grab a pilot i've already decided it's going to be mothman in this case and we should be ready to go so let's deploy All right, here we go. Command interface initiated. We've picked up fusion engine signatures and weapons fire commander. Play our targets are in this area. Move up, make contact, and wipe them out. Should have brought my winter coat. All right. They don't seem like they're that far away, so let's immediately start. Oh, okay, I guess we're not getting into the woods unless I do sprint, so I'd rather be in the woods than not, because I get good defense in that case. Moving to position. I think it's going to be a similar situation here. Location confirmed. All right. Let's actually have Scarecrow move going? first, because I think he's a little in the way. Uh, looks like if I sprint to here, I'll get within sensor contact range, so I'll do so. And then we'll see what to, what I want to do with this mech. Okay. Something's on sensor. So we've got two contacts. One there, one there. I think we move... I mean, it helps to flank, but in this case, I'll just move into the woods here. All right, let's see what these guys are once we engage into combat here. Well, they're definitely medium mechs or uh, are heavy mechs operating as medium mechs. Well, I guess we'll find out once we Resuming reserve. Action. I expect one of them is going to get within sensor range, but still a good call to reserve because they may waste some of their moves. Getting that sensor con or not sensor contact, direct line of sight. Okay, it's a hunchback 4G. Scary. Only firing a single medium laser. We have a cicada 3C. Fortunately, these are enemies we fought before, so we may be able to get salvage out of this one. And they're both medium mechs, so that's good. All right. Either we reserve again just to make sure there's no heavy mechs. Look at that. So what are you looking at? Three mediums, one heavy? Maybe? Or there's more than one lance here, which is a possibility with a battle mission. Receiving you. Hmm. Now, I don't have to be all that careful... Because I know I'll have the initiative advantage. Ideally, I want to get close enough to use my small lasers, though. So let's move in that with that in regard. Do we just go after the cicada knowing we could wipe it out pretty quickly? I think that's the right call. So I'm going to move here. We'll try and wipe out the cicada quickly, even though the hunchback is the greater threat. But it's got good armor. 
I can get in behind it though, I could really chip away at that armor. So the plan is to flank the hunchback. We'll try and wipe out the cicada this turn. Alright, that's my plan. Heading out. But I think that's a valid strategy, because hunchbacks have paper thin rear armor. If you can get in behind them, that's really good. We just may be able to get in behind them. So we have another contact here. We don't know what it is, though. Uh, I don't have multi-target, so this is the really only the op the only option I have open to me. Alright, unfortunately, medium lasers missed, but the small lasers hit a little bit there. Did something just move on the... Uh... Okay, so they have a vehicle of some type, perhaps. Alright. So I want to have the possibility of getting in behind. Come on, click the button. There we go. Getting in behind the hunchback if I can. And I think the best way to do that is jump here. And then if it moves up aggressively, we could maybe jump in behind it on the next turn. But for now, we're going to look for an attack mostly against... See, this is the problem. I should not be moving with this mech first because this is the mech that can really do a ton of damage. So what I should be doing... And I have to remind myself that Mothman is not a skill of the pilot as we're used to having. So normally I would use a multi-target to burn down evasion, but I just don't have that option. So I think we go after the cicada here, but this is one of those situations where I wish I had my normal pilot roster, because uh, Gnarly, I think, would be able to get more done here. But yeah, let's go after the cicadas. Maybe not hit with anything. Oh, there we go. Got a couple focused damaged things there. And again, cicada doesn't have good armor, so we should be able to chop through it pretty quickly. If we're lucky. All right, so we're gonna look for a multi-target here. Copy that. So you're gonna be the primary and you're gonna be the secondary. And I'm just gonna fire a single medium laser at the punch it back, just to burn down its evasion a bit. Roger. Okay. And I think we may be able to get the finish with the Negative Griffin. Damage. At least we'll try for it. I think a one turn del deletion of an enemy, not bad. We're not going to get much better accuracy. All right. And if the Hunchback is too aggressive here, we can flank it next turn. Okay. Oh, no. We want a multi-target here. You are going to be A, and you're going to be B. I think just a single medium laser against B is what I'm going to fire. This may be overkill on the cicada, but I want to be sure. Now, is it dead? Looks like it's dead. Okay. Now, this is the question I have to ask myself. What do I do with a fire starter? Do I go for the rear shot knowing that I may take really heavy damage? Good to go. But I, I've set myself up for it. Now, obviously, I want to hit with everything I've got if I do that. If I hit it with a precision strike, it won't be able to respond. I think I have to go with this. So, yeah, we're going to jump, use Precision Strike, and hit this guy as hard as I can. Go. I'm going to look for maybe a kill. I don't know if I can get that, though, with what I'm firing here. 
Um, let's take a look at that. In theory, if we got all of it on the center torso, we could kill him. Because this is, what, we got four small lasers, that's 80. We got 130, so that's plenty to kill him. But the problem is if it spreads, which it just did. And we did get an AC-20 crit, so that's not... Reporting. Or not. Well, now we know what that is. It is a Shadowhawk, and it is the variant that has more firepower in exchange for armor, which means it's easy to kill. Sadly, I put myself into a position to really not follow up on the Hunchback. At least not to get those rear attacks I'm looking for. I mean, look at how much we did. I should have probably gone after the right torso, because if I could have gotten that, we would have been able to take out the AC-20, which is most of the Hunchback's firepower. Sadly, we didn't do that. So I have two choices here. Uh, choice number one is I attack the Hunchback anyway from the front. It would probably take all of that damage and not really care. I attack the Shadowhawk instead, or I reserve and I wait and I see if I can get a better position on the Hunchback. Maybe get another rear shot on him. This Firestarter may cause him to turn around and try and act against the Firestarter. Now, the problem with all that is the Firestarter may die. So, I still think it's the right call. Holding for the right opportunity. It would help if we got that off the screen so we knew what was going on. Here again. Alright, so this is what we see what the Hunchback does. Now, the Hunchback turns around. We've got rear shots. It comes forward... Griffin might be able to jump in and get a rear shot anyway. Okay, I don't think the AC-20 landed. I'm hit. But we <laughs> You've got to be joking. Alright. So the whole point of why we did that is maybe I could jump in behind. Nope. Shoot. Ready for orders. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Uh, going after the Shadowhawk isn't a bad play. Kind of hard to hit right now, though. I mean, I will for sure get another rear shot with the Firestarter, which may be enough to get a kill. I think we go after the Shadowhawk here. So I'm going to use Mothman mostly to burn through evasion. And also maybe to take their attention away from other things. Now for truck. What do you need? I'm going to step up. Actually, we may not even need that. Let's let's see what our chances to hit are. Eighty percent. Okay, we don't really need to step up. Uh, it wouldn't hurt though. All right. Get you a little closer. That that's not going to be much better, but we'll at least get a little closer here. I'm going to fire at the Hunchback, even though I'm not sure it's going to do me much good. Oh, you're A. And you. Copy that. I was kind of hoping that the Hunchback would move up a little bit more aggressively than it did. Okay, so we have two things at that. I still think maybe the right call here is to go after the Shadowhawk, because I may be able to kill it this turn. And then next turn, we know we're going to beat this guy to initiative. Just hit him in the rear again. I mean, he's really hurting back here. Uh, maybe he'd live through it, 
and then that would be bad for me. But I really feel like if I come in here and I attack like this, this is just wasted firepower. Like, I'm not going to be doing anything with that. I mean, let's just confirm here. Okay, he's taking a decent amount to the right torso. We might be able to take the right torso out if I attack from that side. So it's not a complete waste. Yeah, okay. It's not a, it's not a bad call. So, that will make it more likely, anyway, that our Shadowhawk, our Firestar is going to do uh, meaningful damage. Okay. Because we're attacking from that side, it should focus in there. You could get very unlucky and it hits all the legs or some nonsense, or it just hits the arms and doesn't barely even... Okay, well, there we go. AC-20 is destroyed. That's the most important thing that could happen. Okay. Yes. Now for the follow-up. I can't not hit this guy in the rear again. I, I have to take this chance. Uh, so we're going to go for it. This fire starter kind of forces me into really aggressive play, but it does so much damage, you can't deny it. So far, they've been kind of ignoring it, too, so that's that's fine. I'll take Firing it. Full on enemy. Okay, we got the kill. That's all that matters. In the end, maybe we wasted a little bit of firepower in the process, but... If, now, if we can kill the Shadowhawk, that would be the only vision the enemy has. And... Uh, he's got the bulwark trait. Sucks. All right. Well, if all we do is hit him with an LRM twenty, we'll we'll chop right through that. Waiting. Now the question is, can Mothman jump into a position to get behind him? He sure can. All right. So we're gonna want to hold her attack. Not a great shot, though. That's my my main concern. Oh, I don't really know if I can get it in that great of a position anyway, so I'm just going to move, move right up and just be direct in this attack. Not really a very strategic attack, but again, if we take the Shadowhawk out, that'll be pretty important. All weapons committed. Problem is, this is 40% damage reduction, so... Alright, now we're going to do a follow-up yeah. attack. We want to move so that we have full line of sight. And then we're just going to fire the LRM-20. So we get full damage. On it. Turn all these off. I mean, we still get the 20% damage reduction, so is that really the wise thing to do? I don't think it is. Let's just go full damage here. Targeting for an alpha strike. Okay, we're starting to get internal structure in there. We have 47 in the center torso. So do I take the rear attack or not? I mean, that is fresh armor if I do it, but it'd be... Commander. It'd be fresh armor, but it'd be... Hmm. What was your situation again? Yeah, I think the right call here is to stay in front. I know they get damage reduction, but I'm a little concerned if I if I go off to the side or something that the enemy will be able to get in behind me or something. I really don't know where the rest of them are, and I suspect they're over in this direction, so... Yeah, let's just get in here and do what damage we can. Hopefully it works out. We do have the follow-up with the fire starter if this doesn't do what we need it to. I expect the arm to be chopped off. There we go. Bye bye. Tango down. All right, so that was what three mechs dead. I have no objective, so I'm guessing we completed our primary, which was to kill this quote-unquote lance. Looks like enemy reinforcements. 
Okay. And then we have vehicles of some kind, which we're going to, of course, reserve for, because if the enemy doesn't have vision on me, reserve you can kind of take advantage of that. So I'm going to guess two heavy vehicles, two uh, assault class vehicles. That's what it sure seems like. Yeah, it sure seems like that. All right. Well, I, I think my guys are running a little hot. We're not in necessarily the best situ uh, position. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to walk in behind this ridge. It's possible to be able to take the top of this ridge and, and get vision on me next turn. Not sure I can do anything to prevent that, is there? I guess if I go over this way, they might not be able to see me. All right, we'll try for that. And then I'll sensor lock the only vehicle we're within sensor range of. And then we can just focus a little bit of damage that way as well. Sensor lock. Let's see what it is. It's a striker. Okay, not too surprised with that. I'm not positive of this, but that actually may be the yep. only heavy vehicle in the game. Uh, can I jump into a better position? Sure, we'll jump there. Up high. Then we'll just fire the other M20 at it. Probably not going to get a kill, but might as well do it nonetheless. This is the only damage we're going to get this turn, likely, anyway. Now, I do know I have the initiative advantage. So I may be able to do something Orders. here. But you, I think I'm just going to have walk into the forest here. So. Roger. Take an opportunity to cool off and also get yourself into a nice defensive position in the forest. Okay. I can move aggressively. Oh, okay, I guess it doesn't really matter. Can't get close enough to do anything. So we're just going to jump into the woods here and brace up. Be nice and defensive. Likely, the griffin will be the first thing they see. Possibly. They may be able to see the Vindicator, too, but... Okay, so, yet again, reserving away. We should be able to get more aggressive with this next turn. As they come very, very slowly up this hill. Okay. So we're still in a position where they have at least yes, boss. a couple things they can do. So, uh, here, we we'll sensor lock what I believe is the striker. Then we'll fire upon it with truck. Pretty sure it's this one. I've got yeah. a sensor lock. And then through those two actions, we should be through the enemy reinforcements turn. Go ahead and walk up wood here. Let's move. Fire off our LRM twenty again. I'm taking the shot. Okay, that should be the last of the assault vehicles. So we can now take advantage of our initiative. Jump in. Get vision. Might as well get vision on as much as I can here. Engaging jump check. Then we attack, jump out. Let's see what we get. The striker, bulldog. Oh, okay, I guess bulldog is the other one. And a demolisher. Well, which one of these is scarier? I'm going to guess the demolisher. So let's try and kill that. In. Yeah, I'm gonna hit the demolisher yet again. It's the same chance to hit either way. 
and the demolisher is the bigger threat. So our way. All weapons committed. Okay, it's dead. I don't know what that vehicle in the back is. Well, I guess we'll find out, given time. Okay, we'll reserve. Alright. Here, I'm going to multi-target. You are going to be A, you're going to be B, and B is going to be the medium lasers. Okay. Fire. Engaging multiple targets. Oh, very dead. That was a little overkill, but I only went for it. Okay, and now you're going to jump back. Uh, sure, into this wood. Engaging jump jets. You are going to jump back. And here. Might as well take the uh, the conservative, safe path here. And then... Yes, your brace. Standing by. Aircrow is going to... Stay put and just sensor lock this guy. Now, I realize I made a little bit of a mistake there. But it doesn't really matter, though, because in the grand scheme of things... Oh, you can move after doing a sensor lock because that is almost like firing a weapon. I didn't actually know that until I did that. Sure, move there. Let's get through that. Yeah, it doesn't really matter in what yeah. order we do this, so we'll just attack the bulldog now. Aye, aye. Engaging target. And we'll let the AI do their thing. I don't think we're going to get a kill here. All right. Reserve. Reserve. Who knows? This might be able to get close enough to get vision. There it is. Didn't do a very good job of hitting anything. All right. Come Scarecrow on. is going to move on up and attack. We could jump, but I don't really see the point. Got it. We don't want this thing to give vision to us, though, so we do want to get a kill if we can. I suspect we'll get that fairly soon, though. Um. Yeah. But. Um, yeah, we'll go for it. I was thinking about turning some weapons off because I think this is going to be overkill, but might as well guarantee it's death. Alright, so we, we know there's just the one. I'll go ahead and reserve. I hope it's not stuck there. Okay, it's, it's not. It's moving. Sometimes vehicles, I think, get stuck. Uh, at least I've seen that in the past. So in this case... We have the initiative advantage, so there's no reason not to move ahead here aggressively. Let's see what this is. Let me guess, it's a demolisher. It might not be, though. It could be a SRM carrier. That was my other guess. Here, we'll go with the precision strike here. Um, I don't think it matters. Copy that. You're hiding in the corpse of another... Oh, well, you're already dead. <laughs> Reporting vehicle destroyed. All right. Well done, Commander. I've alerted our employers. Let's get out of here. Mission successful. Okay, so we get our money. Sadly, Mouthman took an injury, but we've got more backup pilots. Hopefully we don't get too many more headshots in future missions. All right, so we've got the three... Max. Definitely we're taking the Hunchback because that's going to give us a Mac. Between the Shadowhawk and the Cicada, both could be good. 
We already have one part of Cicada, though, so I'm going to grab that. Because it gets us closer to another medium mech, and that's kind of where we're, we need to be at, is getting more of that stuff. But anything else we get here would be all good. I mean, there's some good weapon systems in here. A lot of SRM-6s, which I, honestly I don't want, because at this stage we have a ton of them. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting some AC-20s or large lasers or other things like that, so let's see. Okay, we got one AC-20 and then some SRM-6s. It's not too surprising with that. But hey, we get ourselves another medium mech, so I'm pretty happy with that. that mech you wanted is back online. The Hunchback 4G is a tried and tested juggernaut on the field. One of the lightest mechs to mount such a massive autocannon, it is capable of destroying some lighter units in a single volley. It tends to mount heavy armor to boot. Okay, well, this is a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Mouse <laughs> This is Mouse Gunner signing out.